I'm Jennifer with the Kentucky Agriculture and Environment in the Classroom and this is our Linking Farm to Table activity as part of our STEM Adventure program and we also provide this to teachers in our sponsored classroom and it's available to our Ag Literacy Network members. As part of the STEM program we have this on a board and it's a walk-up activity where you'll have a small group of children that come up and we're going to have several cards they might be from the farm ingredients or they might be processed ingredients. And the goal is to help them understand that everything at the grocery store, uh, whether it's processed or, you know, it might be, uh, m not, may not need a whole lot of processing, such as a lot of our fresh fruits and vegetables, that it came from the farm first. So when you have them walk up make sure they understand that we're trying to make sure that we are being able to link our food to the farm you can give them several of these cards and it's going to be their job to put them either in the from the farm category or the processed ingredients category and you can have a couple up to help them along so they understand what you're asking but they're going to place some of these on the board and then they'll know that some of these other things need some processing. So they're going to go on this side. You may want to go on and ask them if they know which things go together or where they came from. So if we have pizza crust, you can say, well, how do we get pizza crust? And hopefully they know that it's from our wheat that is grown on the farm. So that will lead into the next activity where we have to build a meal. So we can choose one of our mini meal cards. Let's start with a pizza. It's got a list of our processed ingredients that we need. So our kiddos are going to say, okay, we need a crust. So here is the crust. Where does our pizza crust come from? They know that it comes from wheat. Then what's our next one? Tomato sauce. So we'll find the tomato sauce card that will be on the processed ingredient side. Where does tomato sauce come from? Well, it comes from tomatoes. And then our cheese. We're going to have kneading there. Where does cheese come from? Well, there's, there's a product in the middle. you got to have milk to make cheese. And where does the milk come from? Well, it comes from our dairy cows, which we haven't put on the board yet. Now, you can take that one even further. Because, what does the dairy cow need to eat in, to, in order to produce milk? Well, they have to eat grasses and haze, maybe some corn, also some soybeans. So then we've, all, we've also got a food chain going here. We also need some pepperoni which we have on our processed ingredient side. Where does that come from? It can come from uh, many different animals. We'll just say for these purposes, it's going to come from hogs. And again, they're going to eat some of the same things that the dairy cow had to eat in order to produce the pepperoni. And then our last thing is vegetable toppings that we'll need. And those come from vegetable plots. If you get through one whole meal and have that conversation, you can give them a different meal and have them do this one on their own. So you could put up a breakfast or you could put up a cheeseburger. There's a lot of different options and see if they can do one of these meals all by themselves.